so we're going to add half of the macaroni and cheese you can see it's just kind of bubbling there that's about where you want it we're going to add half of the mac at a time and then we're going to add half of the cheese at a time that way we make sure we get it coated really well there's about half there we're going to stir this up okay very important that we use a, a cast iron skillet because this is going to be going into the smoker for about an hour to uh, finish cooking. It's going to give it a really good smoky flavor. Make sure you stir it up real good. That cheese tends to stick together. And you don't want to be friends with the macaroni. So we just keep stirring until we get a nice mixture there. About see where every once in a while you'll see a clump of cheese. Just mix that up really well. Okay, I've got it on low heat right now. We're going to be Taking it off and put it in on the smoker here in a few minutes with our chops. So the chops have been on about 30 minutes. We're going to put this on and it'll be in the smoker for about an hour. Now we're not done yet. We got to add the topping, and that's really the um, most important part because this recipe here is just simply the recipe that's on the on the bag of the cheese so we've not really added anything different in here but that's where uh, we're going to add some toppings there and that uh, will be added here just shortly okay so now we're going to just put this over the top and spread it out as even as possible you want it on the top you don't want to mix it in This is going to get a, give it a nice, uh, I won't say crunchy, but it will add some texture to the mac and cheese that it normally doesn't have. Okay. So we'll spread that around as much as we can. That's going to be good. Alright, now, one last thing. Last thing is barbecue sauce. Okay, so imagine how this is going to kind of caramelize in the smoker when it's been in the smoker for about uh, an hour. So you don't want to put too much on there, otherwise it'll be it'll it'll be too much uh, caramelization. But you want to just give it enough to add a little bit of barbecue flavor to the mac and cheese. Now we're going to put this on the smoker.